Number 27. Explain why the symbol for an atom of an element oxygen and the formula for a molecule of oxygen differ. All right, so this one's pretty simple. We just have to know the difference between an atom and a molecule. This was totally in chapter one, so this is kind of like a review. But this is really important to know, especially for all those standardized exams like the MCAT. Um, I know a lot of students are probably watching these because of the MCAT. Are you one of them? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys. But these types of um, theoretical questions you definitely have to know for those exams, especially the MCAT. But moving on. So what's the difference between an atom of an element oxygen and um, a molecule? So just know that an atom just represents one box. So I'll put that here. One box on the periodic table. So get out your periodic table, guys. Now we'll just, they're talking about oxygen here. So literally, if I just put an oxygen here, right? One single oxygen by itself would be one atom, right? If I add two oxygens and they're not connected, they would be two atoms, all right? So a single oxygen technically is a atom of elemental oxygen. So I'm just going to erase that. Now, molecules, especially molecules of oxygen, this is what exists in nature. So oxygen wants to be with a partner, whether it's with another oxygen or with other elements. But that's the difference between a molecule and an atom. A molecule is when you have more than two atoms chemically chemically bound. So, in nature, oxygen will never act as just a single O. Specifically, oxygen is always acting as a diatomic, O2. This is called a diatomic. Di in chemistry means two. Atomic means atoms. So, O2, two atoms, diatomic and they will be chemically bound to each other. This is bound by a covalent bond. You don't really have to worry about that too much for now, but just know that you have one single atom and another atom, but they are bound to each other. They share electrons, all right? So there really is, when we get into that chapter, there's a double bond here. And the whole thing is classified as one molecule. So you got one molecule, but inside you got two atoms. You see the difference here? This one, you just have one atom, right? There's no molecule here. It's just a single atom. So that's the difference, um, especially for the symbol. They said explain why the symbol for an atom of oxygen is different from the molecule, because the symbol for an atom is just, oh, whether, I mean, comparing the symbol for a molecule would be O2 for oxygen because it is a diatomic in nature. All right? So that's the difference between the symbol for an atom, which would just be O, and the symbol for a molecule of oxygen, which would be O2. It's two atoms, O and O, but they're chemically bound by, in this case, a double bond. And that gives you one molecule, but it's two atoms in the one molecule. All right. So all that in a nutshell is the answer for this one. All right. Um, thank you so much for, you know, tuning in. Hope this helped. If it did, click the subscribe button. I thank you very much. I'll see you guys all in number 28. And if you got the playlist, I'll see you in five, four, three, two, one.